All right, guys. Hello, hello. Uh, welcome back to Ocho Kellen Real Estate. As always, uh, thank you to everybody who's been subscribing to the channel. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, this video is a little bit different. Uh, right now, I'm out in the DMV area, uh, DC, Maryland, Virginia. I'm in uh, downtown Silver Springs, Maryland, as you can kind of see behind me. And uh, I'm doing a video like this for a reason. So um, today's topic, like you have to trust people in order to really propel yourself in this real estate business. Like you have to trust people that they're going to do what they say they're going to do when they're going to do it. So for instance, right now I've been out of town for the past couple of days. As you guys know, I'm from the Chicago, uh, from, from Chicago, and I have some properties in the Chicago land area, and I've still gotten work done even though I've been out of town. So the people who've been working with me for the past couple of years, like you know. They know where my properties are, they've met my tenants, they know my tenants. So if I say, hey, can you do X, Y, Z, I'm out of town, like, you know, can you go take care of this, they can go do it. And not even so much having trust with the people who do work with you, but also having trust for your tenants. So for instance, at one of my properties right now, I just had to have the smoke alarms rewired, or actually hardwired. And so what that means is, um, if you have a, a piece of property where you have maybe a basement unit, a first floor unit, and a second floor unit, they want the smoke alarms to all be connected hardwired. So if a fire broke out in the basement or if the fire broke out on the second floor, everybody in the building will be notified. You know, it's a great feature, but you know, it's kind of costly. You have to go into the wall, you have to you know, rewire the whole system, but it's worth it because one, you have to have things done the legally and correct way, and two, you know, it can save lives. So right now, my HVAC guy, well actually he finished uh, yesterday I believe, my HVAC guy, he actually went to my property while I was out of town, he talked to the tenant, He, I left the second floor apartment open for him because that one's vacant and the first floor apartment, the tenant helped him get in there and he went through the walls and he did everything he had to do. And as I always talked about, using technology is your advantage. So he could take pictures for me, he could show it to me, and then I paid him just like that. Like, you know, through either Zelle, Cash App, Venmo, whatever the preference is. And so now I have to pay my painters who do the drywall, I have to pay them to go back in there and now to go pass the walls back up. And this is all being done while I'm in a different time zone. You know, so you have to trust people. Like, as I talked about before, if you find people who do good work for you, people you can rely upon, like, keep them close. You know, for me, whether it's my plumber, my HVAC guy, my painters, anybody else who I know, even just like, you know, the handyman stuff, like, you know, make sure there are people who you always can depend on, people who you can trust, because you don't want to be always locked into having to oversee everything, having to monitor any and everything that goes on in your building while it's being done. You should be to the point where you trust the people who are doing work for you to where you could be in a different time zone, out of the country, different state, whatever it may be. Or even if you're in your own city, but you don't want to have to stand over them while they're doing it. You have to go do something else because many times I always tell people your landlord is not some rich individual. A lot of times in places like Chicago, if you're owning two unit, three unit, and four unit buildings, like, you know, they're still making their way. Like, you know, they're not somebody who owns a thousand units, you know, so they have, so long story short, they still have a job. So even if you're still in that position to where you have to go to work on your regular nine to five job or whatever it may be but you can still send people to go do stuff for because you trust them and you know they're going to take care of it all right so keep that in mind in this business you have to trust people all right so clocking out from uh, downtown Silver Spring Maryland uh, thank you as always everybody's been watching the video supporting the channel and remember if you're watching on Instagram you can find me on YouTube at Ultra Kellen real estate and if you're watching on YouTube you can find me on Instagram at Ultra Kellen all right guys till next time